Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk all about how to organize your cash envelopes. Once you have decided what your goals are, you've created your categories, you've created your cash envelopes, how are you gonna organize them all? I mean, have you ever opened your wallet to find a complete mess? Receipts, cash, credit cards, all thrown and intertwined together? I know I have many times. It was not long ago that my bank account felt the same way all thrown together, never quite sure where everything was or where it was supposed to be going or where it should be. If you're like me, this is super stressful, but what can you do about it? The simplest answer I've found is to organize your money. Just as you would, all that you would never have thrown out important documents into a drawer, you know, haphazardly, your money is just as important Just as you would never th have thrown your important documents into a drawer haphazardly, your money is just as important. Yet many of us, myself included, haven't been taught how to organize your money. We don't know how to organize our money. I'm here to help with that. I'm here to help with that. Over the years, I have discovered the beauty that is the cash envelope system. It is so useful for so many reasons, but the main reason is that it organizes my money. Once you have decided what cash envelopes to use and what categories, now is the time to figure out how in the world to organize them. There are many ways. Some are fancier than others, uh, but the basic goal is to have your envelopes in a safe, organized location. I have seen clients use backpacks, boxes, as well as file folders, my personal choice, but really anything that keeps them together and safe will work. The way that I organize my cash envelopes have evolved over the years. When I first began, I used a basic like white mail envelopes. Um, and then one year I got fancy and I sewed zippered pouches. Another year I printed out patterns and cut them into the shape of an envelope, folded them up, taped them, glued them and add Velcro, which I still use, but you know, it doesn't seem to matter which way you do it though. It's just whatever works best for you. Um, and then yet another year, I bought a mini file folder from Dollar Tree to use as my to-go wallet, which still works, and it keeps categories um, organized while I'm out, and I still use it today. So the easiest way to keep money separate while I'm out is that mini file folder. Um, I now use one as well to keep my main weekly categories, gas, grocery, household, eating out, kids, and yearly expenses. That way, each week, they're all there in one big thing and I'm able to simply put my money in and take my money out as I go. Um, the less, the, that way each week they're all together. And then I have a separate group of envelopes for my emergency savings and savings goal envelopes. Um, also a zippered pouch for my monthly bills since I'm a month ahead. As you, I have a video all about how to get a month ahead. Um, and then you add it on the first, I go, um, since I'm a month ahead, I just add to it weekly. And then on the first of the month, I go and I pay all the bills from that pouch. Um, there are similar ways of doing that though. If you're not a month ahead, you do, will take your bills uh, and I'll have a video on this later, but you'll basically take your bills, um, and all of their due dates and with your paychecks and figure out how much each week you need to subtract for the upcoming bills the following week. Um, and, and then if there's a check that's not enough, then make sure that you balance all of that out and you have a plan. It's really mainly about making a plan. The plan is the way that you achieve your goals. And I love cash envelopes because they are a solid plan. There's no avoiding it. You can't say, oh, I didn't know I ate all through. I, I didn't know I used all my eating out funds because they were all in one big day. No you know it because the envelope is empty. <laughs> you are done, no more eating out for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course, you can move money around, but it's more about giving you that self-control and guidance so that you don't have to think as much about your money once you've done that initial setup. You don't have to think about it. You only have to think about it maybe once or twice a month as you're doing your reevaluation, if you're adding new goals, if your financial situation changes, that's really the only time you really need to look at it. Otherwise, it's just the robotic putting money in the certain holes and moving on. So all of those various budgeting methods are contained 
um, in a box for safekeeping or like I said, a backpack or file folder, file cabinet, something like that. But if you begin to accumulate a large amount of money, which is, a, which this awesome method will, with this awesome method you will, uh, I suggest investing in a safe. Any safe is better than no safe. Um, preferably also a fireproof box before the safe, if you can, just to make sure your money is safe. But if you're just starting out, a box will do just fine. Well, I hope this basic breakdown has helped you understand how you can organize all these envelopes you've now created. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye.